so you want to know how to use workspaces? Well, first of all, go to HR and ask for Jim. He'll tell you everything you need to know. Hey guys, one bad test by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back once again taking a look at workspaces. And uh, pretty much this is very useful if you want to animate or if you want to just change your layout. Um, so what we're going to do is uh, at the top right hand corner of, uh, of the uh, program up here, you can see that we can go ahead and hit this little button and this will drop down some workspaces. And this is actually how you switch to the animation workspace where you can actually go ahead and animate. As you can see, I click animation then go down here. We have a timeline. We have the um, animation buttons, which is really nice. Um, and we can just go ahead and animate and whatever else and do keyframes and that's really cool um, But it's not just used for animation obviously so we can we have a bunch of different workspaces here. We have big paint big paint 2 um, We have uh, what else we have we have big vector. We have default minimal um, And small vector and VFX paint now for the most part I pretty much only use default big paint 1 big paint 2 or big vector um, Actually not even really big vector, but the first two so the the first big paints and then default um now let's say you want to make your own workspace and then save it and then come back to it later on. Let's go ahead and uh, go to like tool options and then let's move tool options. Um, we'll click and drag this piece and then we'll move it to layers. Maybe I don't want advanced color selector. Get rid of that. Delete that. Maybe I don't want brush presets. Delete that. Um, maybe I want tool options to be down here like this underneath layers. Yeah. Uh, maybe I want this to be open a little bit more. Um, yeah, and we, I want just like this. So this is what I want my workspace to look like. So now we can go ahead and actually save this. So we can go up here to this little workspace button, like I said, and then insert a name. So we're going to call this uh, Kai's space. Yep, uh -huh, that's nice. And then we hit save. And now you can see if we scroll down, Kai's space is right there. And if we go to default or big vector or big paint, uh, it, it'll change those. But if we go back to Kai space, it will go back to the way that we had it before. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you use workspaces. Very, very cool. Very easy. Um, very nice way to get back and forth between different uh, layouts, basically is what it is, um, and different uh, modes and types of things that you want to do. So I will see you, ladies and gentlemen, in the next tutorial. But until then, bye-bye.